Welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. The Dog Who Cried Wolf by Keiko Kaza. Mocha was a good dog. He and Michelle loved to be together. Life was perfect until one day she read a book about wolves. Look, Mocha said, "Michelle, you're kind of like a wolf." Wow, thought Mocha. I am kind of like a wolf, but look how amazing wolves are! They run around free, hunt wild animals, and stay up late to howl at the moon. And look at the way I live, Mocha sighed. I'm nothing but a house pet. He felt like a failure, especially when Michelle made him dress up for her tea parties. He wanted to be a wolf. The next day, Mocha made up his mind. He snuck out of the house and took off for the mountains. He ran and ran and ran, until finally he reached a high mountain top. "I'm free!" he yelled, "free as a wolf!" He ran, he jumped, he danced, and he peed wherever he wanted. "Wow!" he exclaimed. "The world is mine!" Soon, Mocha got hungry. No problem," he cried. "I'll hunt for my food just like the wolves do," and off he went. But a rabbit outran him, a skunk sprayed him, a beetle pinched him, and even a field mouse made fun of him. By nightfall, Mocha was miserable. He missed Michelle. I even miss her tea parties," he mumbled. "But I can't give up yet. There is just one more thing I have to try." He gazed at the golden moon and howled as loudly as he could, "Howl!" Just like a wolf. Suddenly, something howled back, "Howl! Howl!" And then again, "Howl!" Mocha froze. "Wolves!" he cried. "Real wolves!" He turned and raced down the mountain. "I want to go home." He panted. I never want to be a wolf again. He ran and ran and ran, until finally he reached the house he knew so well. Mocha! Michelle shouted as she dashed out to meet him. You're back. Mocha was home again, and he and Michelle were oh so happy. Life was just perfect until one day, she read a book about monkeys. V and thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all my latest videos. I'll see you again in the next story. Bye for now.